but it's stopping Chaos Bolts with Grounding Totem and Wind Shear. And Method Black may have gone to the strategic drawing board here to say, what do Destro and Warlocks hate? Well, they hate shamans. So let's just bring two shamans. What else do they hate? <laughs> Rogues? Okay, let's just bring two shamans and a rogue because Method Black really didn't seem like they had an answer for the Mage Warlock. And I guess this is what they think is their best shot. If they can win the blind pick with it, that is of utmost importance. We're in the upper bracket between North America, Cloud9, the last North American hope. Method Black, on the other hand, the top point earners from Europe as they go head to head. I, I actually really like this composition from Method Black. I was concerned they were going to be overconfident in the mirror. I don't think you should lead with it. Uh, there were some rumors that perhaps, you know, Raikou was very confident off of yesterday. Maybe he would fancy his chances in the mirror. But first, they're going to go for what they think is their best Anshin. Of course, knowing the Mage Lock Druid is coming in, you see big damage over onto Channimals early. Doesn't overreact, doesn't trade out the unending resolve for those Maldix. Just using the spell reflect, the Iron Bark from Cubsy as well. Well matched in this opener, but the double shame is going to be interesting because, of course, yesterday we only really saw Sidu running the Restoration Shaman and obviously it didn't work out too well for them. Uh, we criticized the Restoration Shaman's lack of healing, but with Swapsy and Waz being more evasive, it might be better. There's a lot of pressure right now from Cloud9, a bit unexpected. I anticipated that the lockdown would prevent a lot of Cloud9's damage, but Swapsy has been hovering low on health for a significant amount of time, and as Chaz is running that Restoration Shaman, he's exposed to interrupts. Cloud9 have two of those in their long duration, so it could be deadly if even one is secured onto Chaz. So maybe he's hesitant to heal. We haven't seen him on his Shaman in a long time. That could be another thing as well, because Swapsy is just getting destroyed. I mean, that's a Spirit yep. Link Totem already out of the way. The pressure from Cloud9 is mounting, and now it's coming down to, is there a comp that can beat Cloud9's Mage Warlock Druid? Because if this one doesn't, which you would think is the absolute utter Countercom. I mean, what what else could make a warlock's life more of a living nightmare than two shamans in a rogue? Like, I mean, I really can't even think of anything that's more devastating. But they, they're just shaking it off. It's almost as if it's not even a counter. Look at the pressure. I, I, yeah, I'm not actually 100% convinced it is a counter. I mean, this it's not like it's a matchup that's played very often. So this is kind of like the the mad scientist swap C pro thinking up like, how can I annoy all these channels as much as possible? Channels to the playmaker. I'm gonna shut him down. But so far, Method Black have been struggling. That said. The advantage of the Restoration Shaman is that their mana management is fantastic. You can see his blue bar, the smaller blue bar below the <laughs> other blue bar, is still high. He has a lot of that mana resource, meaning that he can heal for a long time. And they're going to have to play for Dampening, right? Like, they're not going to kill the Warlock until that Soul Leech healing is reduced by the healing reduction buff later in the game. Swapsy, though, I, I'm kind of confused as to why he's playing more aggressively right now. I'd love to see him just kind of humping the pillar, if that's the, if that's the goal here. Just hug the pillar the entire game, sit by it, avoid those frost bolts, avoid those chaos bolts, and don't force Chaz to heal and spend that resource. Well, it's because Cubsy wants to drink. <laughs> That's what Swapsy is realizing as he's trying to chase him down and stop it. Mana is the name of the game. If they can't get ahead of it, crowd control secured by Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man is doing so much damage. He knows that Channel's being pressured. It's really difficult for Channel to get much going, and Wealthy Man has stepped up to the plate, getting crowd control and pressure for the team, despite Channel being totally countered by the entire team of Method Black with his elemental rogue restoration shaman. And this really pays into the respect that Method Black must have for Channel to craft this composition. They say that Channel is the best player on the team, and they even think that if Channel maybe isn't on the team, that Cloud9 aren't of the same caliber. So crafting this composition to try and lock Channel out of the fight is an interesting strategy, but Cloud9 are proving that it's not just Channel. Wealthy Man dealing tons of damage here. Could just be a kill if Chaz gets interrupted even once. Healing Tide Totem in reposition is allowing Swapsy time to recover. Mana still even. Cubsy sits down. How much mana will Cubsy get off of this drink? Not too much, but he is ahead, which is surprising. I, I, I think being ahead of the Restoration Druid by such a small margin actually isn't necessarily a good thing for Cloud9 because the Restoration Druid will burn through his mana faster. He needs to get one of those, you know, massive 30 to 100 mana drinks that we see from rest of Druids going, you know, Prowl, maybe Shadow Mend on the other side of the map, get the crowd control from the Mage Log Druid. And I mean, I think he's, I think the odds are good that he's going to achieve it against Channels and Wealthy Man. Channels and Wealthy Man have been commended multiple times on their ability to just control the enemy team, you know, with the Polymorphs, with the Fears, and they're really making Method Black work for it as they should be in this matchup. That said, the pressure has started to settle down a little bit. Method Black is stabilizing. Chaz is doing a good job. And they need to keep the pressure on Channimals now so that Cubsy is forced to heal. All right, let's see if they can get it done. Cubsy's mana is still ahead. But like you said, not by much. And with the Druid, you want to be 
basically full mana at this point. First thing a Shaman. Polymorph secured. Wealthy Man once again. MVP here for North America on that Frost Mage. Swapsy is still low on health. Channel's trying to close this game out. He is getting denied a bit. Now stunned up by Waz. Polymorphs are over. Chess has time to recover. Still counter spell available for a Wealthy Man, so we do want to make sure that Chaz is able to avoid that. If he is not, then that could be Swapsy's life. Wealthy Man pausing the fight, trying to buy time for Cubsy to drink, but an Earthbind Totem Snipe will deny it. That is the other advantage of bringing two Shamans, is you've got a lot of Totems that you can throw at Cubsy to keep him in combat. you got a lot of Earth Elementals as well. So this is a smart composition, although surprising from Method Black, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Yeah, Method Black are working together as a unit to stop these drinks too. You see Wires pushing up for the Distract. If Cubsy restuffs, then both the Shamans push in together. Chaz, the healer, currently with the most offensive positioning because he knows, like, Chaz won't die. They're not going to kill him in this matchup. They Theoretically, in Dampening, they could go for it, but right now, they certainly won't. Uh, so even he, you know, can push for those Earth Binds, push those Earth Grubs if he's running it, and the whole team needs to be on top of this game, because that is the win condition here. We see Kidney Shot onto Channels once again. The longer the Cubsy is running away for those, you know, drink attempts, the more the Wires is going to deal damage. I actually kind of like this defensive blind as well onto Wealthy Man. They recognize the win condition is mana, so there's no real point to crowd control Cubsy. They're not going to force his Trinket. Channels is always going to be fine so just shut down a bit more damage i suppose method black are playing for the long haul the deep dampening kill can they make it though to that light at the end of the tunnel because i would say the pressure has been in favor of cloud nine throughout three targets softened up here for cloud nine who are they going to tee looks off good. on cubsy's in the corner is he going to get it's sniped distract. on the drink yep. Waz is able to deny it, but cubsy's sneaking yep, away Waz thought he knew where he was but he's not going to find cubsy cubsy crosses map Boss now in midfield. What's Cubsy going to do? He's going to start healing. He doesn't have time to drink. He doesn't want to fall behind. Smoke Bomb gets dropped. Cubsy Tranquility heals through Smoke Bomb. Good counter there on Cubsy's part. Swapsy being pressured. Was being pressured. Both men doing everything that he can to generate some pressure. Infernals have landed. Chanimal is ready to go as he begins to ramp up for a Chaos Bolt show. Yeah, this is the big scary time for Method Black. They need to be aggressive in stopping those drinks, but it's so hard during these Infernals. It can be so scary. One Chaos Bolt with Infernals can be 50% of your health instantly. They're shutting down Channimals. Waz, excellent kidney shot coming in here. They need to get the interrupts. Cubsy moving away constantly from those Shamans, forcing them to cross the map, forcing them to tank damage from this Mage Lock Druid composition. He's going for a drink on the other side of the map right now. Waz pushes in, looks to deny, gets the Distract. Good play. Distract does not remove stealth from the druid though he's going for another drink right now in the corner it doesn't look like they have a stop for it channels pushing in he's dropping a little bit low it's a dangerous game cloud nine are playing but they're playing it well i mean it's one that they have to play if they want to take it here in dampening they need to get cubsy mana as soon as possible but was over extending to stop the drink cost some cooldowns now he's low on health how is he going to stabilize Chaz has a lot of work ahead of him he might just drop a spirit link totem he repositions on top of the team pops ascendance able to connect a big heal now pushing up with the team to stop Cubsy from drinking. There's the Earth Elemental. That will chase Cubsy and punch him, keeping him in combat. If they can chain both Earth Elementals on Cubsy in a row, I almost think it's certain that he will not be able to drink for the rest of the match. And if he can't, then it is going to be dangerous for Cloud9. Winning the blind pick is of the utmost importance. So you get the swing match advantage should this series go to a game five. So this match matters even more so than any other map in this best of five series. Cloud9, number one, North America. Method Black, number one, Europe. Going head to head, game one on the Grand Arena. We're getting closer and closer to this game being finalized. Cooldowns forced on both sides and it's coming down to the wire here as healers are tapped on mana. Yep, Cubsy completely out of mana. The win condition from Method Black is looming close here. Channimals down to 20% health. Lack of cooldowns. Iron Bark, the last line of defense. Chaz, meanwhile, still has the Spirit Link totem. Oh, huge! Earth shot connects onto Channimals. This guy, he's been a live lord this entire tournament, but with Maledix, with Cubsy Oom, with 10% life, it's just a matter of time. The Shamans push in. Swapsy's tasting blood in the water here. The bash coming in from Cubsy. Fear, they're desperately trying to survive, but there's no way Cubsy can drink. He won't be able to heal Channimal. He's got nothing. Channimal's holding out for a miracle. Wealthy Man is that miracle. Can Wealthy Man pull it off while his teammate oh is cornered gosh. against the wall? Cubsy has managed to recover. Waz is now low on health. Two seconds away from Cloak of Shadows. One second away from Cloak of Shadows. Now available, likely having to be trade. Chaz doesn't have Spearling totem. Channimal has survived. Cubs I absolutely can't believe that Channimal has survived. Cubsy is sitting down for a drink at 28% no dampening. If he comes off the back of this with full 
four mana. Mets in black don't have anything. North Americans in the chat. This is your team. The last bastion of hope for North America. Cloud9 have a full mana bar. Excellent play coming in from Channimals. Cubsy, wealthy man with the slows. Now Waz is oh. the first under pressure. This is the Infernal stun, Sid. The Infernals have landed. Channimal has done it. He's survived. Cubsy has mana, but still dampening in the game. Maybe not enough. It's Ooh, looking I good, Chess. What are you gonna do? Suddenly you have nothing. Was it a 10%? There's the counter spell. Wealthy man's the miracle. Was holds on by Cubs. He is killing him in cat form through the cloak of shadows. Was barely survives that attack. Now Method Black. They're pinned. They're cornered and they're cowering because their counter pick might not work. Cloud Nine will turn your world upside down from the absolute despair, defeat looming in their face, a black hole sucking them in. They somehow some way with wealthy man slows and Cubsy's drink have managed to survive it still 35 percent healing reduction a rogue in an elemental is a threat you must respect channels whilst high on health right now will be struggling Cubsy, he has to he knows he has to get the kill for his team he needs to help out Chaz so low on mana every point of damage at this stage and dampening matters wealthy man pushing in Chaz trades out astral shift could be a kill target later in the game but they need to tee off on wires the smoke bomb comes in maldix connect channels caught up in the kidney Shot cups, he comes in, defense with the iron bark. Ooh, demonic gateway on the lightning lasso. Channel escapes to safety. Good positioning, solid avoidance. Absolutely unbelievable. But once again, it's Wealthy Man that needs to net the kill for his team. Channel is under too good. much pressure. Can Wealthy Man carry this through? Can he finish the game in time? Cloud Nine versus Method Black. Round number one, the Grand Arena blind pick. Everything on the line. Defensive blind on to Wealthy Man to stall the game. Was trying to stall, still trying to play for the mana advantage, but Chaz is totally tapped. How much longer can Chaz keep this? going it's done on channel was trying to lead forward with the charge swapsy hex wealthy cubsy dispels lightning lasso denied now cloud nine gets some room to breathe and with that room to breathe they need to make a push i mean cubsy had 100 percent mana now he's back down to 20 you can see how important that drink was they barely survived with an 80 percent mana resource usage there they're still looking tough for them somehow method black are still high on health the cloak of shadows for was is up in 10 seconds Chaz knows that he trades up the spirit link totem they're still looking to stop these drinks was actually has his defensive arsenal almost back as utility <sighs> he needs to survive the stun full bash from cubsy cloak of shadows is available should was choose to use it now he needs to be the one getting offensive onto oh. animal Ursul's vortex on his shadow step has to cloak the chaos bolt as a result beautiful Chaz is polymorphed wealthy man is carrying they need one more chaos bolt or a ferocious bite cubsy jumps into the fight and that's good night cloud nine take game one and what is the answer to their mage warlock druid the best warlock mage to find out is it the counter or isn't it here as the gates have opened in game number two cloud nine leads america's north america's last hope you know i i bet if method black play three different comps here and end up going zero three they might lead the grand final should they get there with a mage lock mirror so we'll have to see how this matchup plays out of course uh the big thing that's going to be different about cloud nine compared to any of the european mage locks is that cloud nine are just so good seemingly at using their crowd control diminishing returns to shut down anything as well as dealing their damage and pressure so it's going to be a big question of how well can raikou land those mana rifts and um Kubsi because so far he's been struggling wealthy man pressured early on but Cubsy shakes it off with an iron bark starting to stabilize here curious to see if cloud nine focus on this strategy in particular where they crowd control raikou the demon hunter so raikou is currently sitting through a fear and earlier a polymorph and that is to stall his mana rifts so he cannot get as many as possible on cooldown this way cubsy will retain mana later into dampening which is of absolute necessity so far so good with that strategy if they can make it to that 40 percent dampening mark swapsy then becomes a kill target but i will say the pressure from method black is immense as wealthy man has really been at about half health for most of the first minute of the game yeah, I, I was just watching very carefully there to see if that mana rift would hit. Once again, Wealthy Man and Channimals, they're both aiming as soon as Raikou connects to get the Fear or the Polymorph, and then the portal will come what? in. Chaz, though, what? taking a lot what? of damage. He's not triggering any triggers. Way too late. And Cloud9 instantaneously are 2 0 up in the series. Instantaneously up 2 0. I think that last game just so fantastically well done by Cloud9 and may have just sent them off tilt onto a whole nother planet of existence that might be a 3-0.
Yeah, Hook Point was Method Black's best map, and they just threw it away. Without their best map, and now having to battle on Cloud9's both of their best maps, even if they manage to pull this off, this is going to be so difficult for Method Black. You are all smiles if you're Cloud9, but they've also been playing out of their minds. We do see Method Black mixing up, going after Cubsy early on, potentially trying to find an opening there and catch him off guard. Barkskin exchanged evenly for the Stormkeeper, but Vendetta still available, and Method Black, what are they going to do? Are they going to keep staying on Cubsy? Lightning Lasso mistimed on diminishing returns. Did Swapsy turn on his add-ons? <laughs> Uh, I mean, using the Lightning Lasso on DR is actually a pretty normal trick. Is it? When the Lasso expires, unless the person is an Orc or Relentless, it will keep ticking even at zero seconds until the end. So it's something the players will use uh, quite consistently since there's no Relentlesses on the side of Cloud9. Uh, reasonable play there from Swapsy. But I, I actually, I really like this composition. I'm happy they went back to it because game one, I really do feel like Method Black had a fantastic game the entire time. Then they just made that one mistake of overcommitting to the kill on Channel, which obviously they didn't quite managed to get by a slither of margins. Now they're going for it again, and this is a very Swapsy comp. I remember back in, I believe, 2013, Cataclysm, uh, Swapsy made it all uh... the way to this one, playing the double Shaman Warlock, and he has these kind of winkages. It's always been his style of comp, and Method Black, if they can execute once again, I feel like they should win this game. Going after Cubsy is risky, because you leave then both Channel and Wealthy Man open. The defensive blind tactic from Method Black, blinding Wealthy Man the Mage during Icy Veins. This is to bait an Ice Block maybe for a kill on him later on, or if they don't get an Ice Block, then they deny Icy Veins. So Method Black is very much so focused on denying damage from Cloud9, extending the game and winning on mana and they are committed to it when they use their blind their most powerful crowd control on a damage dealer member and not the healer so let's see if method black can keep this war of attrition going long enough to find victory yep i mean it's something that they're definitely going to be playing for at this stage uh, Chaz has got a much better mana pool than he did last time we saw in the grand arena as well so they've really cleaned up the strategy i mean the double shaman rogue isn't something they thought they would have to play in fact alec tweeted from abc that uh, the European counter to Magelock Druid was this elemental Moonkin, and then on day one of the Spring Finals, they went 0-5. Multiple teams trying it, every single team failing. Cloud9 is just another beast of Magelock Druid. They're absolutely impeccable at this composition. So Method Black, they've had to go back to the drawing board, and I, I think this is a good answer. We see the stun coming over onto Cubsy right now. Hex is coming out from both Shamans. Kidney shot onto Wealthy Man. They're actually changing up their kill target a little bit here, Seb. Would like to see better elemental usage from both Chaz and Swapsy. Those Earth Elementals can be used as a drink denier yep. on Cubsy. So I do really want to see the Shamans on Method Black use those so that they don't have to overextend themselves and be vulnerable to damage. That's the main advantage that they can bring in this specific matchup. Waz using evasion there. I'm not entirely sure what he was trying to deny. I would imagine that he wants to stop a bash, but Cubsy was nowhere nearby, so Evasion not really getting any value in that specific situation. Chaz is already at establishing a mana lead, and they are doing a good job hunting down Cubsy and preventing him from drinking, but moving forward, Wealthy Man and Channel have been left open for some time, and I'm curious to see how much momentum they can develop while Method Black continue focusing on drink denial. Yep, and this is the perfect map for that drink denial. Of course, Dalaran Sur is one of the small maps in the pool. I'd be curious to see how this matchup would play out on, let's say, Tolver on Arena, which Cloud9 would be able to pick should they lose this one. Channel in the kidney shot right now. Again, not too much doing, just shutting down damage on the side of Method Black, forcing Cubsy, you know, to keep the hots up. Lightning Lasso actually to deny the Innovate. This is such a dampening Swapsy play here. Shutting down the Druid for just a few seconds so you can purge off that Innovate. Nice plays coming in from Method Black, really understanding how they want to play this game. They come together as a team always in these situations, but Infernals from Channel, you don't need a team when he's around. Yeah, you do not need a team when Channel is in town, and I am so happy and ecstatic to see a team finally able to utilize him. He has had a hard time finding a roster where he can be the all-star that he is, and I'm almost wondering if we should commend him as the best player in the tournament, uh, and he's only playing play. one class in an expansion where you expect that Diversity is the best thing to have on your team, but Channel is the best thing to have on your team. He's <laughs> the best thing to have on your team with this destruction warlock here. It's match point in the upper bracket. Cloud9, they're the last North American team. They're about to 3 0, the number one seed from Europe. Maybe not. Wealthy Man being blasted. Oh! Oh! Black take game three. But they got to take two more on Cloud9's map pick. 
It's definitely going to be a long and difficult road back. But it's a clear wing condition that they might have. And it's a potential wing condition that can bring them all the way to game five and give them that shot at making it to the grand final. If not, Cloud9 goes there right now and guarantees that that grand final is North America versus EU. Cloud9, North America's last hope. They're still in match point. They take this game, they take the series, they take a spot in the grand finals, and one more victory secures them a spot at the BlizzCon World Finals later this year and fifty thousand dollars can method black overcome the map disadvantage here on tolveron arena we are about to find out cubsy will have a much easier time drinking on this map and even if he doesn't he can then expose the opposing team in midfield overextend them and burst them down wealthy managed getting smashed by swapsy though at the moment and Swapsy he always talks about dealing the most damage in the game, and you can really see it starting to shine here between these two teams. Do damage, don't die. Those are the wise words that Swapsy said were essentially the motto he lives by when he plays World of Warcraft Arena these days. And doing damage, he's fantastic at. Not dying, they're also pretty fantastic at. Cloud9 have an uphill battle, even if they are to take uh, this next game. It's, it's, it's two games is one thing. Getting that third game, it's where Method back, do not back down. They make it so difficult. Them, but let's take a second here. Was with the swap over onto Cubsy. They're just trying to kind of like play around, I think, like experimenting a bit prior to dampening. I think when dampening comes in, and like Zika said in the pregame, they're playing the way that we would like to see them play, you know, a bit more conservatively on the bigger map. Maybe they recognize this game is going to be dragged out longer. Chaz's mana resource is the most valuable thing for them here. A bit more conservative. They just tried to attack Cubsy. I don't know if that's necessarily yeah, the most... They're, they're both sitting on pillars, you conservative know. ...conservative play there. Lightning Lasso on Cubsy by Swapsy. Waz is trying to connect, but he is stuck in midfield. Wealthy Man and Chanimal are having their way with Waz right here, and you can see the map advantage because Waz is just stuck. Finally, Shadow stepping to a target, but only has one of those. If Chanimal can get to the Demonic Gateway and escape to safety, Waz will not reconnect. Oh, he's running the Demonic Circle on this map. Chanimal is focused on just pure avoidance, and now, though, well, Waz switches targets. Swap the first wealthy man and <laughs> ah, I don't know I'm down I'm so for him. every time I see him below 50% <laughs> health I almost see the dead letters starting to spell yeah. on his frame so this point you got to be careful otherwise Method Black might uh, just bring this to game five and have an opportunity to advance themselves stuns on to two members of cloud nine but Waz is still taking a ton of heat Chaz has that earthen wall totem down reducing damage on Waz and stabilizing him Cubsy's trying to drink but there's an elemental chasing him around the pillar Cubsy is trying to kite it they frost over the elemental to try and get Cubsy time to get into stealth and although this doesn't seem that necessarily that interesting because it doesn't have anything to do with damage Cubsy sneaking away and drinking as he is right now rotating to the opposite side of the map is actually the most important thing in this specific matchup if Cubsy cannot have full mana moving into dampening then I will certainly think that their team will not find victory he found a bit of mana but honestly not as much as he needs yeah, honestly, this game, I would say, is the best out of the four that we've seen for Method Black. I, they've they've had a really good one in terms of, you know, they've spread Cloud9 a little bit thin. They're all over the map. They're struggling to get pressure on Waz or Swapsy at this moment in time. And they're also actually up on mana, which we said that the Cloud9, the reason they chose this map, and I mean, it's true, this is the, they chose it so that Cubsy could kite away constantly. But now that Method Black are putting more damage onto Wealthy Man rather than Chanimals, Wealthy Man can't really heal through the damage as easily as the Warlock can, meaning that Cubs is having to commit a little bit more to the actual healing side of playing Restoration Druid and less to the drinking. And that's just playing into Method Black's hand. Honestly, Wealthy Man, I, I tip my hat to this this guy. Like, he is so brave. I would have blocked twice already in this game. Every time Swapsy gets you low, it's absolutely oh. terrifying. We see another swap here over onto Cubsy. Not really too confident in these. I mean, I guess it makes sense because Waz is chasing them anyways. They're actually getting Maledix, forcing the safeguard. Double skin coming out, but this is the Infernals. They need to respect that. All right, Infernals are down. Cubsy is in midfield, and that is not where you want to be if you are Method Black during these cooldowns as they are so powerful. One Chaos Bolt flies in. That hits Swapsy, but he is dealing with it just fine. Cubsy's drinking during the Infernal. Swapsy knows that. He pushes forward. Stops any significant amount of regeneration. It's still match point. You can't afford a mistake, and Waz is very low on health. How are they going to respond? Chaz yes. is interrupted. He can't heal. Swapsy is polymorphed. He can't support. Waz is boldly holding.
holding on to Cloak of Shadows. Faint reduces the damage. He's trying to chase down the target. Stuns up Channel, but that Demonic Circle at the pillar is going to allow Channel to easily escape if he needs to. Demonic Circle back to the pillar. Waz tries to connect, but no, actually switching to Welty Man. Welty Man is now low, and every time he's below 50%, oh, so it seems bad. like even one Earthshock <laughs> could kill him, but manages to hold on to the blocks. Cubsy regenerates back to full mana just as we get closer to dampening. This is looking good for Cloud9. Yeah, that was a good drink from Cubsy there. <laughs> the cost of a little bit of fear on the side of Wealthy Man. One of the good things is against this Earthshock trade from Swapsy, Wealthy Man can actually see a buff on him, uh, which is stacking for that increased Earthshock. So you can actually really track that. I'm sure the team's calling it out and trying to, you know, say, hey, this is a 30% health where you might die, and hey, this is a 30% health where you're fine. So they just need to do a good job with that, make sure that nothing bad happens. Dampening, as you can see in the top middle of your screen, is starting to stack minus 3% healing reduction for all of the players on the map right now, Tolver on Arena. Chaz has done a fantastic job with his mana this game. Nagrand, when they entered, dampening is about 30%. Now he's at 60, so definitely things still looking pretty good for Meta Black here. Demonic Circle, Channel escapes. Back around the corner, can he stay alive? Chaos Bolt's flying in onto Waz, pinned in center field by the Ursus Vortex, and Waz tries to set up a swap, but is Cheap Shot long enough? Nope, not going to be. Cubsy escapes. Waz is now stuck again in midfield, trying to make it to a target. Gladiator's Maledict's attempt here by Cloud9 to pressure Waz, but it's totally shut down. All three Gladiator's Maledict's, not even a Cloak of Shadows or Earth in Wall Totem, maybe not just yet at least. He is now very low on health. Channel stunned. Wealthy Man's wind shear. Do they have enough damage to force anything? Doesn't look like it. Chaz gets bashed. Wealthy Man blinks in, tries to polymorph, gets grounding totemed by Swapsy and denied. Wealthy Man that uses the gateway to try and escape, but he's getting blasted. And you once again do not want to go down without using that ice block here. Cloud9 would like to just clean this up and advance to the grand finals and let the lower bracket do their bidding to potentially eliminate Method Black moving forward. Let's just take a second to think about why this double shaman is so good here. Like like, you've got double tremor for the warlock, obviously the double wind shear, but the double grounding is actually the perfect counter to these maldicks. You can ground every single one of those maldicks if you just save the groundings. Uh, in addition to, you know, the Cloak of Shadows, all the other immunities that Method Black have on their team. This is a very smartly drafted composition here from Chaz, Swapsy, and Waz. They've, they know what they're doing. We see a full sheep snuck over onto Chaz. Good play from Wealthy Man. Orb comes out. Big damage over onto Waz. Does have that Cloak of Shadows. He's trying to exchange here. The Vendetta committed. The Cubsy not really having to do too much healing. We see Channel just kind of tanking. It's not high enough dampening for him to kill him. And that dark circle, uh, the demonic circle rather from Channel's the portal, enabling him to kite on these goes. I actually, I really like it when they put more of their damage onto Wealthy Man early. And then this dampening starts to stack. I think more and more of it needs to go onto Chan. Yeah, I definitely think that is going to be the case here. Cubsy still maintains his mana. Method Black continue mixing it up, trying to switch, but Cubsy actually saw it coming. He was in bear form, and that's going to allow him to easily survive the stuns. I say easily, but Swapsy is chasing <laughs> him at the moment, and after that 76k, I'm not sure if you can ever say that it's someone is safe if they're below 50% health. Was the target here. Double Shadow Fury beautifully timed with the Infernals of Chanimal. Let's see how many Chaos Bolts he can get. Waz is looking to stop them. He's stalled them now with a silence and a stun. How many more interrupts do they have? Maybe we see an aggressive unending resolve. Swapsy doesn't have much defense. Chanimal has that opening, but Swapsy's at the pillar line of sighting, so unlikely to see that. Chanimal instead deciding to kite and allow Cubsy to drink and regenerate mana. Cloud9 feel confident if they're able to regenerate mana deeper into dampening, but at deep dampening land, it's anyone's game. It's quite chaotic. Yeah, and I mean, Chaz doesn't have a bad mana pool himself, so these drinks from Cloud9, yes, they're good, but no, they're not game winning necessarily. It's going to take more than that to take down Meta Black in this one. Still, any, any team's game at this point, it's going to start getting harder and harder. We see the smoke bomb uh, committed by Waz here, trying to get damage onto Channel's huge hit once again, coming in from Swapsy with that Earth Shock, but it's down now. The stacks will have expired. We see all the Maldicks committed here as well to Channel's. Honestly, not too much doing. Again, Meta Black's offense is thwarted by the defense of the North American number one squad. Ascendance from Chaz. Big cooldowns being traded out here by Method Black for that as well. But they're trying to burn down the mana bar, like Zico said in the pregame. It's all about the dampening. Once dampening is at 24%, the Druid does struggle to just heal with efficient heals. He has to start spamming Nourish, Regrowth, and burning through that mana pool very quickly. Yeah, he will. Cubs, he's trying to drink. He's very far away, and Channel is low on health, but he got full mana. If Channel doesn't die, that's a good trade for Cloud9. They're still on match point. The last North American team in the tournament. If they can manage to pull this off, they go to the Grand Finals, and they're looking good to take the entire thing. They haven't even had to use Snuts. 
Snuts is on their team. They haven't even had to use him. So moving forward, they're looking solid. Although right now, Method Black are developing momentum. Chanimal at half, dampening at 28%. So this is gonna become difficult to heal through. Cubsy still managing to pull through, stabilizing Chanimal. Waz is now low and Cloud9 begin an assault. What's Waz gonna do? Is he gonna run away? Is he gonna stay on target? Swapsy boldly in center field. That is a brave place to be, but I guess he needs to be to stop drinks, but Ooh. exposed to a stun. Chanimal now stunned up as well. Winshear on Cubsy. Channel low on health. Frost Nova holding Waz in place. Demonic Circle, but Cubsy's across the map. Can Cubsy get back over to Channel's side in time? Now blinded. Trinkets, no punish. Channel's still at half. Dampening once again. It's chaotic. It could go either way. This was actually a really big play from Method Black. They got the trinket from Channel before the Infernals, meaning they'll be able to safely shut him down on that cooldown, which you can see is coming up in about 10 seconds. See big damage on both sides now. 32% dampening. Both these teams starting to feel the heat as we do get further and further into this one. Swapsy low. Channel's this health going up and down like a yo-yo, honestly. But Swapsy's definitely taking the worst end of this exchange. Spirit Link actually forced out here by Wealthy Man, almost solo as Channel was out of line of sight. Good job by him. Wealthy Man has been kind of the unsung hero so far in the series for Cloud9. There's the Earth Elemental tossed at Cubsy, but it's not. Why is it Why is it changing targets? You don't want the Earth <laughs> Elemental hit Chanimal. Cubsy now could sneak away and drink if he needs to, although Chanimal has taken some heat. He's going to use the Demonic Gateway. Shadow Step, where's the circle? I think it's on the other pillar. Chanimal is too far away from his Demonic Circle. Does he relay it and try and kite using this pillar, or does he start walking back towards it? Looks like he's rather choosing to walk back towards his original positioning. Shadow Fury interrupted, Wincher out of the way, potential Chaos Bolts. Channel is still out of range of the Demonic Circle. This could be an error that costs them game number four here against Method Black. Channel gets thunderstormed even further away from his Demonic Circle, looking for a triple Shadow Fury, gets interrupted. Now, having soaked all those interrupts, could be an opening for a Chaos Bolt. Wealthy Man still teeing off with Frost Bolts. Would like to see Channel reposition back towards his Demonic Circle. He's making his way downtown. 40% dampening. Cubs, he's trying to drink. If he can regenerate full mana, I'm thinking Cloud9 take it. Yeah, this is the important moment in the game here, folks. If Cubsy can get the drink, it could well be detrimental to Method Black. He gets a tick. He's about to 30% mana right now. That was where in the previous game he got to 100%, 40% dampening for both of these teams. Swapsy taking a fair bit of damage. This is what Cloud9 want to do. They want to constantly force Method Black to cross the map, chase Cubsy around, and then Wealthy Man can tee off and can slow Swapsy. He can get those frost pods, do damage as much as he can. And we see the polymorphs coming out now. The frozen orb, big damage onto all three members of Method Black. Cubsy once again positioning 100 yards away, doing as much as he can from as far away as he can. Chaz down to about 10% mana. The win conditions for both these teams are looming. This game could go either way still, but it's going to end soon. It is most certainly going to end soon. You don't want to go anywhere. Cloud9 are the last North American team in the tournament. They're bursting down Waz. He's in center field. Where can he go? Well, there's a Chaos ball. Bolt. He's Ooh. going nowhere but the lower bracket. Uh, Cloud9. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament. Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered, in the middle of history, the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.